Hey guys, welcome back. Amy from PhotoFit Yoga here with our practice of the week. This week our practice was based or inspired by my yoga teacher training weekend at Down Under Yoga School. This past weekend in Boston we worked on, um, pre we did some prenatal training. So the practice has a lot of open twists in it, so it's accessible for someone if you're carrying a little baby and you have that little belly in front. It's also nice for just larger bodies in general. It just gives you a little more space to move and to breathe as you flow through. Um, so it felt really great in my body. So I like, really enjoy the op more open twist than the sort of crunching when you're pressing your hands together and you're twisting and you're leaning on the thigh or twisting from side to side. There's a big difference in the, the way that twist feels. So you'll notice when we stay stretched up taller and extend the arms out rather than pressing the hands together like we typically do with the yoga twist, that there's a difference in the feel and, um, and I find it feels a lot better in my body. So good for larger bodies, pregnant women, or anybody, anybody who just wants to give it a try. So with that, we're gonna get started. So we'll start at the top edge of our mats. Inhale your arms up, as always, hopefully you did a little bit of a warm up. Press the palms together, and then we'll exhale and take a little back bend. And pressing into your feet, inhale, coming up. We're gonna exhale and forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway and lengthen. And then exhale from here, we're gonna step back to plank. We're gonna start with a little plank move. Wrists under shoulders. So make sure your wrists are st stacked directly under your shoulders. <clears throat> and then we're just pressing or plugging right into those big toe mounds. So first one, we're gonna start in plank. We're just gonna do little knee dips. So just dropping one knee and then switching. So just sort of rolling over the feet. So rolling up onto the toes a little bit higher. So you're coming off of the ball of the foot on one side as the opposite knee dips. And we're just gonna keep going a little bit longer. And instead of counting or timing today, I'm just gonna go by feel. So I'm just gonna wait till my thighs start to burn a little bit, or maybe a lot. Keep pressing the floor away so you don't feel like you're being pulled down. A little broadness through the shoulders. There's almost a little bit of protraction with the shoulders going on here. We keep drawing the navel to the spine. Keep pedaling those legs. If you get too tired, you can stop, but try to stay with me. My legs are starting to feel it now. I'm just gonna do five more seconds. Two and one. Good, back to plank. I'm gonna lower down, so chaturanga. I'm gonna come forward a little, hug the elbows in. Lower down, uncurl those toes. Inhale to upward facing dog. And exhale to downward facing dog. So we'll start with the right leg first. So shift your weight to your left foot. Take your right foot up and out for a three-legged dog. We're gonna bend the knee right away, roll the hips open towards the ceiling, circle the foot around a little bit, spread your toes. Maybe wiggle the knee a little too. And then square the hips back towards the center. Take a nice deep inhale. On your exhale, left foot is coming, right foot is coming forward. Sorry, left knee is dropping down. Good. Uncurl the toes. So when you come down, pad this knee if you need to. If you don't have anything, I should have told you before we started, double your mat up <coughs> if you need the padding. I usually, I'm usually okay, so I don't need it. And then you want to put a little separation between the feet. When you bend your right knee, you want it to stack over your ankle. And then you, you want to put separation this way too. So if you're too narrow, it's going to be a really hard balance. So go a little wider. Take your right foot out to the right, your left knee out to the left. Spread out your toes, press into your feet, inhale, come up through the legs. Exhaling, we're gonna soften the shoulders and send the heart forward. So arms are up, so shoulders are active. You can let the shoulder blades rotate up, that's fine. But just try to find a little softness in the upper back. Take a deep breath in, and as you breathe out, we're gonna sink into this a little bit deeper. So you let the hips drop a little. So the hips are gonna drop here a little deeper in the stretch, but we don't wanna lose the action of the lift from the pelvic floor all the way up. So the action of the legs is the front heel is pulling towards this back thigh. So there's this pull front to back, and then there's a hugging in, so squeezing into the center. That gives us this lift from the pelvic floor, the abs engaged all the way up. So those abs are staying lifted from the pelvic floor all the way up and engaged. So from here, we're gonna add a little twist. Inhale, reach up straight your front leg a little. Exhale, we're gonna twist towards the bent leg. Try to take your whole torso with you so it's not just arms. Inhale, come up. Exhale, twist. Two more, inhale up. Exhale, sink a little deeper and twist. And one more, inhale up. Exhale, sink and twist. This one we're gonna hold. You're gonna take your right hand to your hip and your left hand to the top of the thigh. 
and then press in, inhale and get really tall, and then exhale and take the twist a little deeper. Every time you inhale, grow taller. Every time you exhale, twist a little deeper. Breathe in and out. And again, try to take the shoulders and the torso with you so you're not just turning your head and looking over your shoulder. One more nice deep inhale here. And then as you exhale, we're going to come back to the center. We're going to take both hands behind the back. Inhale, draw your shoulder blades together. Lift your heart, drop your head back. And then exhale. As you exhale, we're going to straighten the front leg. And then we're going to fold forward. So we've got a balance going on here. You might fall out of it. Not the end of the world. Try to lift the pinkies. Drop the forehead down, but towards the back of the foot. So try not to get too round in the spot. And if you're a little wiggly, make sure your hands are loose enough so you can let them go if you need them. And just keep thinking long spine, straight leg without a lock. So I feel mine starting to lock out. I'm going to put a little bend in that knee. One more breath here. Nice deep inhale and exhale. We're going to take the hands down and bend the knee. Good. Back toe curls under. Lift that knee. We're going to step it through. We're going to step the feet nice and close together. Roll onto the outside edge of your right foot. Step your left foot halfway up. Inhale your left arm up. Exhale, drop the hips. Inhale, float up. One. Let's do four of these. Two. So squeeze and lift the hips. Open the shoulders. Three. One more. And four. Good. Top hand circles back down to the floor. We're going to spin back onto the balls of the feet. Step them together. Roll right over to the other side. So now I'm on the outside edge of the left foot. Right foot comes halfway up. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, drop the hips and the arms. You can either go in front or over your head. Inhale up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Watch you're not locking that elbow like I always do. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Good. I think we have one more. Inhale, float up. And exhale, roll it back down towards the mat. Step back to high plank. We're going to go from high plank to low plank or high plank to chaturanga. Lower down. Uncurl your toes. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Shift your weight to your right foot. Take your left foot up and out. Bend the knee. Open the hips. Circle it around. Maybe circling the knee, the foot, the ankle, whatever. Whatever your body needs. Take a nice deep inhale, square your hips back towards the mat. Exhale, left foot steps through, right knee lowers down. Pad the right knee if you need to, inch your left foot up. Make sure there's space across the mat so they're not lined up perfectly. And then inhale your arms up, take your time, get your balance. The exhale is sinking in, but we're not losing that lift of the pelvic floor. So legs again, remember, squeezing front to back, side to side, soft shoulders. Take a deep breath in, reach up on our exhale. We're going to twist the other way now. Try to take the whole torso with you. Inhale, come up. Exhale. Two. Breathe in. And breathe out. Three. One more. Inhale. And exhale. So on four, we're going to hold the twist. So back hand to the hip, front hand to the thigh. Inhale, press up and grow tall. Exhale, turn and look out over that shoulder. Keep breathing in and growing taller and breathing out and sinking deeper. Soften the jaw, the forehead. And again, I even can touch, feel myself doing it, trying to turn my head to get a deeper twist. Try to take the shoulders too. One more inhale here. Exhaling, coming back to center. We're going to take the hands behind the back. Interlace your fingers. Inhale, lift your heart. Drop your head back. Exhale, we're going to straighten the leg, and then we're going to fold forward to keep your back straight as you come forward and down. And try not to round too much. Your forehead is sort of coming towards that knee. Think forehead to the back of the foot, and then just keep lifting the pinkies towards the front edge of your mat. Now, if that hurts your shoulders, obviously, you just rest your hands on your hips. And it's a little tricky balance here, so if you need to let the hands go, you can let them go. And then the hands are going to come down. Inhale, bend the knee. Back toe curls under. Lift the feet. Step it through. 
This time, both knees are gonna dip together. So line the wrist directly under your shoulders, press in or plug into those big toe mounds. We're gonna dip the knees and come up. Good, and again, I'm not counting. Oh, this hair's driving me nuts, or timing. I'm just gonna do this till my legs start to burn. Which seems like it's gonna be a little quicker than the alternating. Make sure you're pushing the floor away. There's a little tiny protraction of the shoulders going, so you're using that round force to push you up instead of feeling like you're being pulled down. All right, the quads are starting to feel this now. Make sure the knees are dipping evenly so you're not tweaking or messing up your low back at all. You keep it nice and steady. Five more seconds. Core has to be fully engaged. Three, two, and one. Good. Coming forward for our chaturanga or your knees, chest, and chin lower. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. A breath here. Shift your weight back to your left foot. Right foot's coming up and out again. Bend the knee, open the hip, circle the foot. Big inhale again. On your exhale, square it off and step it through. This time, high lunge. So, same rule with the feet. You want to keep them far enough apart so that you're not on a, putting yourself on a balancing beam. And this time you're on the ball of the back foot. Knee stacked right over the ankle. If it's a little too wide, that's just as bad as if you're too short, so check it out. And then we're going to inhale the arms up. When you're ready, inhale those arms out, up, and then slightly back. Exhale, finding a little depth. So there's a tiny bend in the back knee. There's a deep bend in the front knee. There's the squeeze from front to back and side to side. Abs engage. From the pelvic floor all the way up. Same move. Inhale, but this time we're going to dip the back knee. You know I love the back knee dip. Inhale up, exhale, sink and twist. One, and we're going to do ten. I'm close to the wall, as usual. Two. Three. Four. So I'd like you to get the full twist. I can't. Five, do it really well because I'm so close to this wall. Six, make sure you're dipping straight down. Seven, shoulders are staying right over your hips. Eight, and the legs are coming to two 90 degree angles. Nine, one more. Now on 10, we're gonna dip, twist, and hold. So keep the back knee bent. Take the front hand to your thigh, the back hand to the hip. Inhale, stretch up tall. Exhale, turning now, looking over the right shoulder, but taking your shoulders with you. Hold that back knee, forget about that burn in the thigh. Keep your torso nice and straight and tall. Whew, keep breathing, breathe through that little thigh burn. Two, and nice deep inhale, and your exhale, come back to center. Ooh, and straighten out the leg, drop the heel. Interlace your fingers behind your back, step that foot about a little bit up, about a foot or so up. Lift your heart. Draw the shoulder blades together, drop the head back, and then exhale, pyramid pose. Come forward, forward, forward. Keep the spine long and straight. Then when you're folding and you come down and you can keep your low back nice and straight, then you can take the hands overhead and let the head just hang. Try not to lock your right knee. So there's a really fine line. Really breathe some deep, steady, slow breaths. One more. Nice deep inhale, exhale, release the hands, bend the knee, spin onto the ball of the back foot again and step it back to plank. You might be a little short because that back foot came in. Lower down, take your chaturanga or the knees and then the chest, uncurl your toes, inhale up dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Good, switching sides, shifting your weight, right foot now, left foot comes up. Bend the knee, open the hips, look under your left arm, circle it around. And then square the hips back towards the floor. Step your left foot up. Stay on the ball of the right foot, coming up for a high lunge. So make sure you're steady, your feet are squared away before you inhale up. Exhale, a little bend in the back knee, nice deep bend in the front knee. Same twist, inhale up, little lift. Exhale, sink and twist. One, back knee dip straight down. Two. Three for ten of these. Four. Five. Six. 
six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Good. Same thing and twisting. I feel like my front foot's out a little far. I'm just kind of shifting it back a little. Good. All right, now, keeping that back knee bent, back hand to the hip, front hand to the thigh. Inhale, row tall. Exhale and twist. Don't lose that dip of the back knee. Press into the big toe now. Fire up the quads. Don't be afraid of fire in the quad. That's all good. Do be afraid of pain in the knees. If you're feeling pain in your knees, you need to back out or modify always for the stuff. Hang in there a little bit longer. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Take a nice deep inhale on your exhale. Drop the heel, take your hands behind your back. Hop it up a foot or so, not too close, but just a bit. Roll your hips and shoulders, square them towards the front edge. Inhale, open the heart, stretch the shoulders back. Exhale, fold forward for pyramid. Put a little bend in your left knee. Keep the spine long and straight. Lift the hands, drop the head. And breathe. So we're to the inside of this leg. So that your belly has lots of room. Good. And now we're going to take the hands back, spin onto the ball of the back foot, and we're going to step it forward. Inhale, take a halfway lift. Exhale, folding. Inhale, coming all the way back up. Take the arms up overhead, reach up tall. Exhale, take a back bend. Inhaling back to center, exhaling the hands to the heart. Let's step sideways. I've got one more for you. We'll finish this up. We're going to take our little goddess stance, heels in, toes are going to turn out. Then inhale your arms out. We're going to exhale. We're going to sink and twist to each side. So we're going to nice open twist to one side. Inhale up, exhale to the other. Two. So watch, make sure your knees are tracking out, not in towards the front of your mat or the edge of your mat. Three. I'm losing my twist. Four. And try not to straighten your legs five the whole way ever. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. We're coming back to center. Staying in the little squat here with a little dip. Rest your hands on your thighs. Inhale and press up so they can face out or in. Let's turn them out, it feels better. A little external rotation of the shoulders, bringing the heart forward, then we're dropping the hips. Good, so don't tuck your toe up, but just drop it down a little. Draw the navel to the spine. Engage and lift from the pelvic floor. Breathe into the thighs, which are kind of on fire. Might be a lot on fire, minor. Getting there, the heat is definitely building. Again, fire in those thighs is good. Shoulders stay soft. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Straight those legs. Beautiful work. Heel toe looking together. Shake them out a little bit. Good. And that's it for our practice this week. Thanks so much for joining me. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. If you like the video, please subscribe so you can see more. And um, I will catch you guys next time.